What's up, guys? This is me, Chandu, and welcome back to another brand new tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about transfer learning based image classification web app using Python. So, let's get started and see the demo first. So, as you can see here, this is the demo application, and this demo application is based on Gradio library. So, you can see here, I already, I already select one picture of the cat. This is nothing but called a tabby cat. If I click here to submit, so you can see here tabby. So, let's select this one. This is called tennis ball submit and you can see your tennis ball and this one traffic light okay submit and you can see your traffic light so you can also uh, click here to edit you can also crop the images so let's crop this one and click here to submit and submit you can see all the traffic light okay i think i need to click here on apply and submit and again submit so you can see a traffic light you can also uh, rotate this picture flip the picture you can also rotate the picture okay you can see here rotate the picture let's say 30 degree minus 30 degree and you can also draw here you can also draw here something like that and you can also add some filter gray scale and the invert all the things you can also remove the whiteness and give some threshold okay and you can also add some text on here okay this is the cool image editor is actually given by the gradio library okay save and submit maybe traffic light yep so let's choose this one this one nothing but cock okay cock and this one hand submit and you can see a 98 percent accurate that is hand you can also click here to clear that and you can also drag and drop the picture from your uh, directory so click here and also the same folder okay and select this one this one click here to submit so you can also choose any kind of picture from your uh, directory so in the studio you're going to make this one so let's get started and jump on the code so as you can see here i create one separate playlist for transfer learning so if you have any doubt on transfer learning, how it actually works, and how can you actually use the transfer learning for image classification, so this video is only for you, okay? So please check it out, link will be in the description. And we are actually using this existing code we actually do on this video, and we are actually using this and to make one web application. So let's get started and jump on the code. So for building the ML models in web, for the production level, you can use the Python Gradio library. So as you can see here, this is the official website of the Gradio library. And you can see here built with integrate with TensorFlow, PyTorch, Google Colab, Jupyter Notebook, and the Scikit-Learn. And also you can see here some reviews, okay? So if I go on the documentation of the Gradio, and you can see here, all the documentation is given by the Gradio library. So in order to actually install this library, just open your command prompt here and type here pip install. The library name is nothing but the Gradio. So I already installed this library in my system. So now I'm not going to actually install this again. Okay. So let's get started and jump on the Jupyter Notebook and see how can I actually use this Gradio library to build one transfer learning based image classification web apps. So as you can see here, this is the existing code we did before in a part number one on the transfer learning. So if you miss this out, so please check it out. Link will be in the description. So in part number one, we discuss about how can we actually use the transfer learning and how what is the transfer learning and how can actually use the transfer learning for image classifications. So now in this tutorial, we are going to build the web application. So let's create one new Python file here, Python 3. And you can also change the name. So let's say web, web apps and click here to rename. Okay. So let's go on the full screen mode. So first thing first, we need to import the TensorFlow. So that's why import TensorFlow as TF. Enter. So it will load the library on the Jupyter Notebook. Then we need to create one function which will take one images and give us the output. So for that, we need to import the keras from TensorFlow. So from Tensor, so this one called TensorFlow, I'm going to import keras. And also, we need to load the models. So the model is coming from our BZ16. So from keras.applications.bgg16, I'm going to import the bgg16. Okay. So now you can see here our model is loaded. So now it's time to actually initialize the model. So model equal to nothing but BGG16. You can also use BG16, BG19, rest at 15, inception, all the things you can actually use that. So let's say model dot summary. So all the things I actually uh, discussed on the part number one for the transfer learning tactic. 
So now you can see here this is the model is actually take the input of 2 to 4 cross 2 to 4 cross 3 and and there is a prediction is dense layer 1000. That means it will actually train on 1000 unique classes. Okay. Now what you have to do, we need to uh, create one uh, functions which will actually help us to give the results. So let's say def predict image and it will take one image. Okay. So while we are dealing with the transfer learning, first we need to actually convert this image into numpy array. So for that, I'm going to import one library from Pillow. So from Pillow, I'm going to import one library from image from Pillow. Okay. Then I'm going to actually load the image. Then I'm going to uh, uh, convert this image into array because we are going to use the gradient to actually get the image from the users. So let's say array, inside that, you need to actually uh, convert this image into an unsigned integer. So let's say uh, this one called as type, okay? So as type, and this is nothing but the unsigned integer. So unsigned integer, that's the UI and eight, and we are going to read the image into RGB format. So RGB, format so this one is nothing but rgb then what you have to do in it actually uh, convert this image into numpy array but before converting this image into numpy array okay sorry uh, we actually convert this image to numpy array so now what you have to do in it actually resize the image by 2 to 4 cross 2 to 4 okay our image is already converted into the multi-dimensional array so now what you have to do in it actually resize that so see uh, image dot resize and inside this, you need to put here the height and the height of the images. Okay. Image equal to image dot resize this one. Then we need to reshape the images. So reshaping the images is nothing but like that. So one, one means this is nothing but the number of images. It's also you can define as number of n. That's n. That's the number of images, height of the images, height of the images, and the number of channels. So this is nothing but the reshaping. So you can also use image or reshape to actually make this out okay so but but i'm going to actually use the numpy so numpy as np so in numpy there is a function called np dot expand dimensions it will help us to expand the dimension that's in the reshaping based on our cnn model so this is nothing but one kind of cnn model this is 16 you can also use this is 19 all the cases okay so that's it np dot expand expand the dimensions okay so expand dimensions and inside that you need to put here the image okay so this is nothing but our image so let's run the code first this shall so expand the dimensions and the axis number is nothing but our which are zero and this one is nothing but our images okay so our dimension expand is done that's mean our reshaping is done now what you have to do in actually process the input so from processing the input from the carols so from carols dot applications dot bgg 16 we are going to import the pre-process import this is called pre-process import so you're going to use that because the model is already trained on some pre-processing so that's why you're going to actually use that and we already discussed all the things in detail on our previous part number one so our process is done now it's time to actually predict the model so model dot predict okay so this one called predict and inside that into put here the images and this is nothing but our predictions okay but we don't have any labels here and this prediction is actually give us some uh, labels so if i go on the first part code so this one is the first part code so you can see here how you actually run the prediction part this is nothing but the prediction results and the decode predictions and you can see here it's not actually human readable okay you can see here some code and the classes and based on the unique code okay that's the unique class name so you can use one link to actually uh iterate to all the code from the internet so for that we need to create one human readable uh, level so the link right like that so let's say git.io maybe this one is the link jjkyn Okay, I think I'm not connecting on the internet. So let's let's connect the internet first. 
okay right now i'm connecting on the internet and it will load it and you can see here all the classes is belonging here so now you're going to actually iterate to all the classes from this link okay so let's go on here and try to create one uh labels so for that to actually getting all the information from this link we're going to import the request module so let's say sorry for that import the request so request and then we are going to create one response based on the request it's getting from this link so request dot get inside this into put to the link with https okay so this is the link so git dot io and another one is uh, sorry this is uh, the backslash okay this one and then uh, j k y n okay this is the link again copy there and see if it's work fine or not this is nothing but the level dot txt yes you can see a level dot txt all the levels is from mobile net it's also the same as the busy 16 now we get one response from here so let's say response so this response is actually give us some text okay so now we need to actually get the text from here so let's say text then you're going to split the text based on our backslash okay based on our backslash okay then we are going to put into a variable called label okay so now we have label so based on the predictions based on the ids that means this id we are going to actually iterate to all the value from here and get the actual levels so now it's time to actually return the levels for that we are going to create one nested loop and we are going to iterate to all the 1000 unique class from here then we are going to actually uh, create the label this labels based on our number of iterations this is zero one two like that and then we are going to also uh uh what do you call it? yeah we're going to also see the predictions accuracy so let's say predictions and if that is to put here the i okay so this is nothing but our prediction accuracy it actually gives us for that so let's put into one 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 single line okay no this is not like that and the curly bracket inside the curly bracket you're going to put that okay that's fine so our our work is pretty done okay so now it's time to actually uh, run the shell here and it will take few seconds to actually run that so now you're going to actually import the gradient sorry import gradient as zero okay then we are going to actually uh, load the uh, gradient inputs as the in image so zero dot imports dot image inside that into put here the shape of the images that's when we are going to resize the images so two to four into two to four done then this is nothing but our labels is coming from here so label is nothing but this one you can also put here this is not labels labels and this one labels so labels is nothing but here so gr dot this is called the outputs and the dot level okay inside this let's say number of classes so number of classes let's say top five classes okay okay and this one is nothing but our image so let's say image okay run the code okay so now we need to actually interface the gradio okay so gr dot enter page okay inside that it will take one functions so the function is nothing but our predict images okay okay we got an wire called number of classes so this is nothing but top classes because not number of classes top classes okay it will actually run that code <coughs> okay so now what you have to do you need to actually put your imports imports so our imports is nothing but our image and our output is nothing but our labels okay and another one is the capture sessions uh, if you you are actually wanted to uh, take some screenshot or the gif images then you actually make this capture session as true and finally you're going to launch that 
and inside this you can put here debug equal to true or if you are on to debug the code okay run the code so you can see here one uh, got an unexpected keyword called output so this is called outputs okay so it will actually executed the code so all right so now you can see it's loaded uh, you can click here to open it locally and you can see a drop uh, image here or click here to upload and let's choose a tennis ball first and click here to submit and see we got one error so let's see the what is the error here so we go got an error called uh, only size uh, minus one array can we convert it to the python scalar so that's when we need to actually convert this uh, prediction image into a uh, vector that's been linked back so that's why we can actually use this flatten okay now i think it will work now and we need to also interrupt this code and click here to interrupt okay and also we need to run the code from the first cell okay so it will take few seconds to actually uh, load all the library necessary library and the models so if you're running the uh, code for the first time it will actually download some white from the internet okay and now you can see it loaded and i'm going to click close here close that and again click here and now again choose this one open and submit again arrow so let's see what kind of error we got here level object is not subscriptable okay see so we do one error here uh this is nothing but single space and also let's uh, let's change the variable name let's say data and also this one data okay and run the code uh, again and see the difference that it actually work fine or not okay and it'll take a few seconds to actually uh, load this one up fine load it and drop the images or you can choose let's say this uh, traffic one and submit and see it actually work fine and clear and again tennis ball and this one see tennis ball work fine you can see here one single uh, classes because we actually initialize here uh number of top classes equal to one you can also change this one five ten it's up to you okay so interrupt and run the code again okay and it will take a few seconds to actually load that you can also close it here okay close this one and um how you need to run the code for the first time in the demo and you can see here some uh, sample images so you can also add the dot from here so let's say sample sample images on a list okay inside this you need to put here the path so let's see it's actually work fine for the top five classes or not so let's say hand this one and this one it's also work fine you can see your hand clear and also let's say this one is tabby cat okay enter and tabby you can see your 72 percent accurate and you can also uh interrupt that okay inside this i can actually put in the sample images you can also do that so let's say cat one dot jpg we have the images in our directory you can see here cat cat one cat two not cat to not cat cat one cock dog you can also uh load here okay and let's say load some picture uh let's say uh hand dot jpg and also let's let's load uh, the doc dot jpg so and let's say use that okay and if i did you need to put here the examples exam pulse and inside this you need to put here the sample images okay this one this one is nothing but the examples and inside this sample images so for the code here okay and you can close that okay and click here to load that and now you can see your sample images submit and it will load it here okay go on the full screen mode and see this one and submit and tabby this one maybe one kind of dog called chichua okay so this is the tutorial hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update thank you so much